Today we open packs until I pull a $100 or more card. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today we have a few different packs that have potential 100 plus dollar cards in it. We're gonna be opening up as many of these as we need to get a $100 card. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this first edition Thousand Eyes Restrict from Pharaoh Servant. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know which card we're gonna pull out of here. Which one do you think it's gonna be? We're not stopping until we get a $100 card. All right, let's get right into it because this could be a very short video or it could be a very long video. In Dimension Force, there's only three cards that are over $100 and two of these stars Starlights are not over 100, so we could pull a Starlight and not actually in the video, which would be pretty wild. Ice Shade, we got the Amphibious Bug Roth, we got the Scare Claw. We never did pull the uh, Ash, not the Ash Blossom, the Ghost Bell out of here, Starlight, so it'd be great to get that. We also have not pulled a Ghost Rare out of Ghost from the Passive Forever, and also some of these are not over 100 bucks, so this is going to be interesting to see like how long this takes. Like It could take forever, or it could be over in like five minutes, because we have done that before, where it's taken a very long time, and while we are you know, going through these epic packs opening stuff up make sure to check out my new pokemon channel it's going to be based on the stuff we're doing on twitch which you can follow me on twitch as well but we're doing pokemon challenges and stuff like that okay vision hero ferris very nice and we've been doing it five days a week so make sure to go check that out and if you want to follow the channel and you don't have time to watch it live go check out my pokey rucks channel yes poker rucks i know pretty crazy it sounds just like uh you know Ruxin, except for Pokemon. So go check that out. That's something that we have been doing a lot recently, and I've been putting a lot of time into, so I would appreciate it if you guys are interested in that. Of course, if you're not interested, don't don't bother, you know? If you're not gonna watch it, then there's no reason to go over there. But if you are interested in that kind of stuff, then head over. Let's see if we can pull a Dark Neos Ultimate Rare, guys. These are hobby packs, so we are hoping to pull something incredible out of here, which that's obviously over $100. Let's keep going. Crop Circle, Destiny Hero Defender. We've got the Destiny Mirage. Destiny Hero Fearmonger. The Viacroid Connection Zone, Fossil Excavation, we got an Alien Gray, and Destiny Hero Double Dude, so that's a super rare, it is a foil, this is definitely not a $100 card, let's just see how close we can get, I'm kind of interested to see like what our total amount of pulls will be before we get a $100 card, so like, will we pull like $500 worth of cards before we actually pull a $100 single card, I doubt it, that would be pretty insane, we'd have to open for a long time, hopefully it's not $500, that would be in really, really crazy, oh look how bent this card is, oh my goodness, Cupid Pitch, we got a Galaxy Soldier, that's nice, and at number 60, it's actually pretty tough to be a $100 card, and you like it's either got to be really crazy or it's got to be like a high rarity like collectible card wow are these bent what's going on here Predator plant back up libromancer fire burst there's an ultra rare very cool and uh colonel c string very cool i feel like our best chance is probably ghost from the past i think some of the ultis from power of the duelist are pretty good some of them I'm, if we pull them i'm not going to be sure if they're 100 dollars cards or not so we're just going to be sitting there like eh you know maybe we got it maybe we didn't last time we did a video like this we did stop and we pull a ghost chair and we pulled that ghost chair in like two minutes or something it ended up being like a three minute video so that was interesting i kind of hope that doesn't happen but i would you know because obviously it needs to be sort of a long video even though you guys thought that was so funny and it honestly kind of was so i see why you guys actually like that video rescue red orbital bombardment black terra synthetic seraphim and Submarine Roid, I do love this card. It's pretty good. Attack directly, change to defense mode, 1800. Very nice. All right, we're just gonna open. We're gonna open and we're gonna open until we have success. Well, that's a bent, another bent card. What is going on? Majesty Hyperion, DD Necro Slime. Dimension Force, we didn't really have good luck with this set. For a while, the Therion King, like Regulus, was almost 100 bucks, but I don't think it is now. Navy Dragon Mech, that was a big time Rux and special. But uh, I don't think it's 100 anymore, unfortunately, or else that would be a much easier card to pull for, you know, getting the $100 card. Uh, I think from Ghost in the Past, a few of the Ghost shares, like Dark Magician, Girl, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, those are all definitely 100. Hmm, what else? Dad, I think, is under 100. Wing Dragon Ross Sphere Mode, Eye of Tomias, those are all. There's an Aluber, very nice. All under 100. Power of the Duelist definitely does have several cards because all the ultis and stuff like that. If we get Dark Neos, Flare Neos, uh, Chimera Tech. I mean, any of those are going to be pretty big money. Uh, Synthetic Seraphim. We got a Black Terra. We got Orbital Bombardment. Orbible. We got a Rescue Ruin. A Dark City. That's just a regular rare. A Destiny Hero Blade Master. Or Blade Hunter, I should say. All right, next pack. Ghost from the Past 2. Can we pull the Dark Magician Girl yet again? Let's go. We got a... Okay, go. Oh, that one always looks like a ghost rare. Every time I'm like, whoa, because you can't really see the artwork. So that's, it feels like a ghost rare in like the certain light. 
uh, Great Mammoth, number 97, and uh, Multiply Guy, one of our favorite ultra rares from that set. Dimension Force. Let's go. Let us pull something amazing. Therion Bull. We've got the, oh, what is this? we got a Symphonic and a Weather Forecaster. Just a super rare. Nothing to go crazy about there. Power of the Duelist. Can you bless us with an epic ultimate rare? Give us a good one. I think, actually, like, uh, Dark Panther is over $100. So that if we pull that, that's a good one. We got a brainwashing beam. We got a miracle Jurassic egg. Mausoleum of the Emperor. A decoy roid. Alien Gray. Fossil excavation. The Accord Connection Zone. Destiny Hero Fearmonger. And a supercharge. All right. That is not one you want as an ulti. That's in retail, though. So we're good. Back to Ghost from the Past 2, man. Ghost from the Past 2 just seems like yesterday it just came out. And it's getting, like, at this point, it's been out for, like, what, two months or something? So it's still fun to open, but it just feels like it's brand new, but it's not anymore. It's so sad. I'm ready for Ghost from the Past 3 to get announced. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments. What do you think the Ghost shares will be if they do a Ghost from the Past 3? I can't imagine they wouldn't because it's been so successful, I would think. I mean, with how, many, how much people bought it. Had to have just absolutely blown it out of the water. I would think, okay, this one is one of the starlights and it's like 50 bucks or 60 bucks, something like that. I think there's a good chance we get something like a Genzo coming up. Uh, Genzo, Gate Guardian, stuff like that. Summon Skull, some, some really classic monsters. Wandering got a Galaxy Soldier. So I think there's potential for that kind of stuff, but you never really know. You know, it might happen, it might not. But uh, let me know your predictions in the comments if you guys are, you know, listening this far into the video, which isn't that far. It's only a couple minutes, but I do want to see what you guys are thinking. If you guys are listening, you know, want to see what you guys have an appointment or uh, have an opinion, not an appointment that is different. An appointment and an opinion are different. Can we pull something amazing like a starlight? This fear a little a little bent. Reverse jar. We've got the performer pal Gintrude. Okay, not looking too great out of there. All right, back to the power of the duels. The Duelist will have power. By the way, if you guys have some product that you are selling, you know, some old school product, and you want to hit me up and, uh, you know, see if I want to open it or see if I want to buy it, you know, you can hit me up because I'm definitely interested for, like, videos and stuff like that. Mausoleum, we got a decoy red. A lot of people selling their collections right now, but not a lot of sealed collections coming around. We got a Destiny Mirage, uh, Fearmonger, Rescue Roid, and, of course, you guys know I like the sealed stuff. Orbital Bombardment, Black Terra. And a D-Chain. All right, the D-Chain. Very nice. Dimension Force time. Let's go. Let's pull something epic. The D-Force, the Therion, the Ikuroki, or Oku, or Rock Medium. Branded Banishment, this is a few dollar card. That's actually a good pull. We've probably pulled like, you know, 20 bucks worth of stuff so far. Not too crazy, but we've pulled a little bit, of, you know, a few decent cards. We got a Go. Okay, we got the Mech Phantom Beast Gold Wing. Power of the Duelist yet again. Will this ultimate rare pull end it? Let's see. Or will there be an ultimate rare pull? We have a Brainwashing Beam. Black Stego, Fake Hero, Crop Circles, Black Terra, Orbital Bombardment, Rescue Roid, Destiny Hero Fearmonger, and we got a Cyclone Blade. All right, it's just a regular rare. I'm like really on edge whenever we open those up. I'm like, this could be it. This could be the end of the video. And then it's just like, you know, a regular rare. It's like, oh, okay. These, I'm like, whatever. We're not pulling a Starlight, you know. And then if we actually do, there's a Rex term. I will lose it because I'll be like shocked. Because the Power Duelist, I'm like, okay, this is probably like our one of our best chances to pull it. Ghost of the Past, probably second best. Dimension Force, probably the least likely that we pull like a $100 card. So it's kind of like, you know. When we open these, it's like, okay, we're, we're still opening after this. This is definitely not the last pack of the video. Like, we pulled, like, a, a ghost bell right now, but whoa! Scareclaw, very cool. Scareclaws seem pretty interesting. Look at the... Oh, my goodness. The quality on these cards is horrible on this one. They're absolutely destroyed. Like, the corners are so bad. All right, all right. Tinny Spirit, we got a Domain. We got a Deco Talker Heat Soul, another decent card. Manju, also a decent card. Can we go back to back, get another good card? Can we get a Ghost Rare? Ghost from the Past 2. Ghost from the Past Dose. <gasps> oh, and there it is! We can't go back to back! Dark Magician Girl! And there it is! The $100 card. I don't even have to look this one up. $100 Dark Magician Girl. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trust Card, Stonefall Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palmer, Puffins Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Stanley Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, John Nolan, Anandatai Show, and Tom McLean. Thank you guys for supporting this channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.